Welcome to Purple Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made it to Mahogany Town, explored the Lake of Rage, caught a shiny red Gyarados, which we nicknamed Reddy, and also met a mysterious trainer named Lance, who was asking us for help. Before we continue back in Mahogany Town, as you can see, I'm actually north of Cherry Grove City, because we got a red scale after we caught Reddy, and you guys told me that this is where I needed to go. We needed to go back here to Mr. Pokemon's house, because we can get something special out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this very quickly. Let's talk to him. Hmm, that red scale, what's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare, I, I want it. Rodri, would you care to trade it? I can offer this XP share I got from Professor Oak. We obtained the XP share, so there we go, that's the item we've been looking for. And you guys actually told me to come here and get that, so thank you guys so much for that suggestion. Now that we've gone ahead and done that, it's time for us to fly back to Mahogany Town because we actually need to go help out Lance and see what other crazy stuff he wants us to do with him today. Hopefully it doesn't entail us having to fight that Dragonite because that dude sure seems a little bit scary. <laughs> okay, so we have to actually head back uh, into that one place that looked not as suspicious as we thought. And let's head inside and see what awaits us. Dragon Knight, Hyper Beam! What took you so long, Rodri? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal's coming from here. The stairs are right here. Rodri, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Alright, so it looks like we're going to split up with Lance to explore some sort of place, which turns out to be the Team Rocket headquarters. Oh, well, I wonder who else would be doing this than Team Rocket. So let's go ahead and head on Oddwoods, and we have been stopped. Something's looking at us. Is there a trainer here? What is this sketchy madness? I think we've triggered an alarm, which is just great. That is what we want. We're breaking an entrance and going into some sort of place. Uh, and it says, hey, intruder alert. I think we're going to have a battle coming up, so here we go. Well, glad that one's done and over with. Can we go? It looks like we're also going to have a second battle. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I'm really liking Den's movesets. They are coming in very, very handy in this place. And woo, we finally made it past there. Now, where are we about to go? Do we have to explore this place? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Uh, there's another alarm over here. I, yeah, I think it might be this way. I'm not completely sure, but uh, are we going to have to fight someone again? Did we trigger it? Why don't we just over jump over it and just have the lows fly us over? I'm tired of triggering all these alarms. We have another intruder alert. Here we go. Are we going to have to do this again? And we are. Here we go. Four times the charm. Seems to me like we're just battling the same Pokemon over and over. Let's see if this guy does it too. Let's go! Well, that guy was quite original using all those rata -ta 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 -ta, and I think we're actually tripping up on those bombs he was talking about. Uh, let's see, it actually looks like it's a Pokemon battle, so they're actually Voltorbs. The bombs he was talking about were Voltorbs, which are going to be popping out at us every time we take a step. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and probably just run past them, because I don't think we're going to have to battle them if we don't want to. So the easiest thing to do is probably just run instead of, like, waste your, uh, your moves on these guys. I don't really see a point in battling them. I'd rather just kind of run through it and, uh... 
See if there's gonna be any more Team Rocket grunts that we're gonna have to take on. Come on, keep running through. Oh, I almost made it. I almost made it without doing any craziness. All right, are we gonna? Oh, this one's different. This one's a Geo dude. A bunch of random things. So if you wanna ever add these guys to your team, you know where you can come get them here in the Team Rocket headquarters base. Awesome, we made it. Woo! Uh, let's head down the stairs. I'm kind of tired of uh, bumping into those things. And look, there's Lance. Are you all right? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Ooh, it's taking some of that special medicine from Lance. I wonder what it could be. Rodri, let's give our best for Pokemon. All right, I guess we will give our best. I always give my best. I always try my hardest for the Pokemon world. What is this? It says, the radio transmitter. It seems that this door checks the voice of the person saying the password before it opens. Who is the person that says the password before it opens? That, that I do not know. Uh, but there's a rocket grunt over there. I don't really want to face him. Are we headed in the right direction? And we almost made it. Battle time. Okay, we defeated that guy, now let's head down the stairs and see what else awaits us. There is Lance one more time. Rodri, in order to unlock the door to the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of the person is Petrell, the Team Rocket executive. I have found out he's hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, though, the room is also protected with a password. Rodri, we need the password to their leader's office first. So we're going to be looking for a password today to a leader's office. Wait, why didn't this guy challenge me? Let's talk to him. It says, uh, Erg, the guy in the cape is incredibly tough, and I had no choice but to tell him all the secrets about this hideout, except that our leader's office is protected with two passwords. So we're actually going to be looking for two passwords today i kind of remember something like this uh i know one of, or a couple of you guys actually left comments telling me that i needed to talk to a couple rocket grunts who were near computers uh there's one right here i don't know if that counts as a grunt uh but let's go ahead and talk to this person maybe they know something about it do i know the password maybe yep this is gonna be it let's go ahead and battle them Password of the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail, but it's useless unless you have the two passwords. So we have one of the passwords already, and let's see if we can continue on and look around over here. I'm pretty sure the other one might be this person over here, and I guess we'll find out. The password for the boss's door, Radicate Tail. But if you don't have both passwords, ha ha ha. So we have figured out both passwords, which was pretty good for us. Uh, we're actually going to have to go look for the boss's door now. I don't know where that one is, so we're just going to keep running around. And, you know, we've been doing really great so far. Heading in the right direction, which, you know, I can only hope we keep on doing, which is actually uh, coming out pretty well. All right, let's head on upwards then and see if we can bump into anything else. Uh, hopefully, this is the right direction. I'm actually getting a lot of cool items. We just picked up TM49 Snatch. I'll have to figure out what that does here in the future. Yeah. And here's another. Did we come down this set of stairs? I honestly don't even remember. Let's just head on upwards. Uh, we're st still in the Team Rocket headquarters. What? Is this where I'm supposed to be? I don't even know now. Now I'm just running around trying to figure out uh, exactly where to go. Uh, there's a set of stairs there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this out too. Alright, so there we go. Let's head down the stairs. And are we going the right place? We have made it to the Team Rocket headquarters. And someone's in that building. I see it. Why am I getting stopped? Did I trigger another alarm? No, it's Jacob. So, are you messing with them again? Huh, you must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who was the guy with the cape who used Dragon-type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat... Why are you battling Lance when we're trying to save Team Rocket or destroy them? Uh, his by getting st his stronger Pokemon. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like his. Huh, I don't have the time for the likes of you. 
Okay, then why do you even come and talk to us? Something strange is happening here. Lance is battling our rival. We also just found an altar ball, and I think we have made it to the boss's door. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to continue from this point in Team Rocket's headquarters and hopefully meet up with Lance once again and wrap things up inside of this place. If you guys have any tips coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.